All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mod Legacy Subnautica instead of the 2.0 Subnautica video that I did. That's about it, really. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is taking your game from 2.0 Subnautica into Legacy Subnautica, because I actually need to do that t t before I do anything. So, and I'm also gonna show you what to do if you have 2.0 mods installed, you know, what to do with those. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head to Subnautica on your Steam. You know, I'm not doing the Epic Games version or any other version of Subnautica. I am strictly referring to the Steam version and showing you how to mod the Steam version because I don't know how to do any of the other ones. Just wanna throw that out there. So once you're at Subnautica in your library, yes, I have 300 hours, uh, but four achievements, don't judge me. Um, we're gonna head to our settings right here and look at this little gearbox icon on the right side. We're gonna click this icon and then we're gonna go down to manage and then we're gonna go down to browse local files and then we're gonna see all of our Subnautica files, right? And we're still in 2.0 at, at this point right now, so just keep that in mind. So once you're here, you can either do two things. You can either delete this BevanX folder entirely or you can click into it and then click on plugins and then you can copy. I, I probably wouldn't like click into the plugins and copy everything in here. Instead, I would just copy the plugins folder onto, you know, like the download section or somewhere else on my computer before deleting the entire BFNX file. Because whenever you go to like switch your game back to 2.0, you won't have to like manually reinstall each and every single mod. You can just drag all your plugins straight back in and then you're t ready to go again. So if you wanna do that, you can. That's typically what I do, but you know, it's entirely up to you. But either way, whenever you do either of those things, you're just going to delete the BevanX folder like so. And now it's gone because that's the 2.0 BevanX folder and we don't want that whenever we're switching to Legacy Subnautica. So now that we've done that, let's go back to Subnautica in our Steam library. So now that we're back in Subnautica in our Steam library, we're going to go back to Manage again. and But this time we're going to go to Properties and then we're going to go to Betas. And then it's going to say Beta Participation. Select the beta you would like to opt into. Opt into. Gosh, don't know how I said that. It's going to automatically be selected to none if you're on 2.0 Subnautica. And if you want to switch to Legacy Subnautica, you're just going to click Legacy dash public builds, public legacy builds right here. And then your game is going to update. And then it's going to say Legacy on the side right here. And it's just going to switch to the, it's, you're essentially downgrading your, ooh, voice crack was disgusting. You're essentially downgrading your Subnautica. So we can see our thing says select a version. Now it says Legacy. So now we're technically on Legacy Subnautica. So now we actually need to install the mod that we need. So now we're going to go to the Subnautica Nexus modding website. I'll link the Subnautica modding Nexus website, you know, in the description just to make things easier for y'all. But once you are here, you know, you're going to see all these freaking ads everywhere because <laughs> yeah, but you're going to head up to the search bar. Once you're here, you're just going to type in Q mods and it should pop up. Okay, never mind. Don't type in Q mods. Just type in Q mod by itself and then you should see Q mod manager for legacy. You're going to click on that. And then we are going to want this mod. We can see it says discontinued as a Subnautica 2.0 only for Steam legacy branch down. Cause this is the mod. This is like the foundational mod essentially that you have to install before you install any other legacy mod. Otherwise nothing else will work. So we're just going to head over to the file section right here. We're going to see the Q mod manager main file right here. And we're going to see it says mod manager download. And it's also going to say manual download. I'm going to show you how to do the manual download because I do not have a mod manager installed. So don't click the mod manager download option because I don't know how to do that. So if you go that route, you're gonna be essentially on your own because I'm not gonna be able to help you if something goes wrong or something. So click on manual download and then just do slow download unless you have, you know, unless you got money, money and get the fast download option. All right, so now we can see QMod manager is now, you know, downloaded into our downloads and we have like a little zip file. So now from here, we're going to go back to the Subnautica in the Steam library, like that little, that big old title screen that we were like going through the gears and stuff on. So we're just going to go back there. All right. So now that we're back here again, we're on legacy Subnautica because we changed it in the like step before the last one. So now that we've had, we were on Legacy Subnautica and we got the Q mods. We have the Q mods manager mod downloaded. Now we're gonna head to this gear icon right here, head down to manage, and then we're gonna hit browse local files again. And now once you're here, all you're gonna do, so we have the Subnautica tab open, right? We're gonna leave this open and we're just gonna hit new tab up here. And then we're gonna go to the downloads or wherever your Q mods file downloaded to, that's where you're gonna wanna go. In my case, mine's went to the download section right here. So it's gonna hit new tab and then we're gonna click on downloads. And then we see the Q mod manager is sitting right here, nice and pretty. So now we just need to click on the Q mod manager and we can see 
There's a BevNX file in here, doorstop config, and then win uh, HTTP DLL. So essentially, once, you, once you've clicked on the QMod Manager, like your QMod Manager files, you're going to highlight all these files right here by either, you know, holding left click, or you can do, you can hold control and click on each of these files individually. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You just need to select all these files right here. Once you have these files all selected, you're going to need to copy them into the other Subnautica folder that we have open, that we left open over here. So you can either do that by, while having all these items selected, you can either like hold left click. You can either hold left click to drag and drop these files in here, which I find is the easiest option, or you can just highlight them all and then control C and then go here and then control hit control V and then it'll just copy it like that as well. So you can do either or it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but I like dragging and dropping because I don't know. It just feels like I can see everything that's going on. And I can see like whenever everything changes and whatnot a little bit better. So drag and drop in here. When it says copies to Subnautica, you can let go of your mouse and they'll just copy in here. Now, when it says replace or skip files, it's likely going to say this destination has, you know, X amount of files with the same name. All you need to do is hit replace the files in the destination like so. It's just going to replace all the files that are duplicates with the legacy files. Okay, and now we have BevNX installed in here. And then whenever you click on it, you know, we have like the little plugin section right here. And then we see QMod Manager. Now, unlike with 2.0 Subnautica, we're not really going to be doing anything with this plugin section right here. Or really anything with the BevNX files in general. They're just kind of going to be sitting there, you know. So now that when now uh, can't speak dang so once you have the qmod manager installed by doing that like like i just showed you right now all you have to do is close this out or actually no you can leave this open doesn't really matter i'm just going to minimize it just because once you do that you just need to run subnautica don't try to install any other mods or anything like that yet because running subnautica is going to generate the file that you need to put the mods in so after you install qmod manager by doing everything i just showed you you know just dragging the files in here hitting replace and all that jazz you're going to minimize or close out that tab and then you're going to open your subnautica you're just going to run your subnautica and then you're going to close it back out whenever it's like fully open and stuff basically once you get to the title screen of subnautica you can close it back all right you can close it back gosh my voice is just dying right now okay so we can see i loaded up my subnautica and I, everything looks like play-doh for some odd reason now whenever you head over to mods it's just going to say q mod manager you know it's not really going to say anything crazy because we haven't installed anything yet let me fix my water i don't know why it looks like this it was disgusting so once you've you know like hit the title screen for subnautica all you can do is hit quit again we're gonna go back to the subnautica files that we have on steam like we were just in before which again you can either if you closed it out and you need a little refresher you can just find it again by heading to your manage so now that we've run subnautica and we closed it back out all we have to do is go back to our local files for subnautica on steam so if you need a refresher on how to do that in case you close the tab or whatever you just head over to this little gear icon right here, click on it, head down to manage, and then hit browse local files. Now, if you open this, like if you already had the, if you left the um like file explorer open and this little tab right here, it may not update as we can see in mine. So all you have to do is hit this little refresh button and you should now see this little Q mods option right here. So if your thing did not, like whenever you ran Subnautica and you closed it back out, you went back to your local files. If it's, if this little Q mods folder did not show up, because your file explorer was still open just hit refresh and it should show up if it didn't show up after hitting refresh or anything like that then that means that qmod manager probably was not installed correctly and you probably need to like redo one of the previous steps to make sure you you know doing it you're doing everything right so now that we have this little qmod section right here this is actually where you're going to put all your different mods and whatnot so now that we have this we can now download just any random mod so I'm going to head to, I'm going to head back to the Subnautica Nexus and we're going to pick, we're going to download the Sea Voyager. Why not? You know, so I'm back on the Subnautica Nexus website. So I'm just going to type in Sea Voyager because I think this is where it is. Yeah, Altera Sea Voyager because this is a legacy mod. So we're just going to go here. If we're downloading any sort of legacy mod or anything like that, we're just going to, again, do the manual download. Do not hit mod manager download because I cannot help you if you click that. And I also cannot help you if you do, if you're using like the Epic Games version of Subnautica, if you're using a cracked version of Subnautica, etc. I can only really help with the Steam version because that's the version I use. We're just going to hit manual download. And anytime you see a screen like this, make sure you read the different requirements that you need before downloading a mod. So this mod, you need SML helper. So we're just going to open an extra link. We're also going to get the version checker. Got SML helper. I'm just going to download this for Legacy Subnautica. You don't have to worry about the one at the top that says QMod Manager 4 because we already have that installed. You know, that's the very first thing that we installed and it's 
gonna be one of the it's probably gonna be the mod you see the most whenever you see like these additional files required so if you ever see that don't even worry about it because you already have it installed so i got all the prerequisites installed and so i'm just gonna install my sea voyager mod once you have all those mods or once you have whatever mod you want to test out or whatever the case you know downloaded in this case i'm going to be downloading the sea voyager mod just to show you an example so now that we have all that like downloaded onto our computer we're going to head back to our local files for Subnautica. so again steam library page gear icon on the right side go to manage browse local files and now we're back in Subnautica. so the same thing the same way we installed the qmod manager it's going to be the same it's going to be this sort of similar installation for any other mod so we got sml helper right here so all we're going to do it says modding helper i'm going to take this file now for the vast majority of mods you're going to be installing them into this qmods folder right here so just keep that in mind unless a mod specifically tells you to install your install its files elsewhere you know which is why you should you should be reading any sort of any sort of mod that you're about to download make sure you read the page because it tells you it usually tells you exactly where the files need to go in most cases they'll go straight to this qmods folder though so since we're installing mods to this QMods folder, we're just going to open it and we're going to leave this open because it's empty right now. So we're going to head back and then we got our mods right here. We got the Sea Voyager and then the two prerequisites that it needs. So I'm going to download the SML helper by clicking on it like so, just like we did with the QMod manager. Click on this and then we have the modding helper right here. So we're just going to take this and copy it into the QMods folder. Okay, and now that's installed. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, the version checker mod. So I'm just gonna click on this file right here, version checker, drag it in, drop it, and now it's in there. And finally, we need to download the Altera Sea Voyager, or install the Altera Sea Voyager, sorry. So we're just gonna, again, click on it. I'm gonna say ship mod right here. We're just gonna go back here and drag the ship mod folder in here. Boom. Now we have all three of our files in. We got the two prerequisites that we need for the Altera Sea Voyager, Altera Sea Voyager to work, and then we have the actual Sea Voyager mod itself. So now that we have all that installed, whenever we load up our Legacy Subnautica, it should be in the game. And now when we click on Vehicles, we should see the Altera Sea Voyager in here. Yep, there it is right there. Altera Sea Voyager, large self-sustaining ship that specializes in quick transportation. Very nice, very nice indeed. It's a really, really simple process installing most mods. You know, you won't really have like any super, super complicated mods unless, you know, there's a mod that's telling you to install like 800 different things. Those are like the more annoying ones. But overall, like the installation process for most mods is fairly simple. You just drag and drop stuff into the QMods folder, you know, and all that jazz that I showed you. But yeah, if you have any issues with this mod, process you know just feel free to let me know and i'll try to help you as best as i can you know i'm not a tech wizard or anything like that but you know i can still i'll, I'll try my best i will try my best for you and the one last thing i want to do is show you how to change your game from legacy to 2.0 since i showed you how to take your game from 2.0 to legacy we'll do the other way around and then we'll end the video so now that we're back at our steam library page for subnautica we're going to head over to the right hand side where the gear icon is again hit manage go to browse local files and now this time, we're going to get rid of anything, basically anything that says QMod in there, you're going to want to get rid of. So we're going to get rid of this QMods folder right here. And just like the plugins folder for 2.0, you can either save this folder, you know, somewhere on your computer so that if you want to keep all your legacy mods and then switch back and forth so you don't have to keep installing them individually, you know, you can do that. I'm just going to delete it though in this case. I mean, you'll have to delete it anyway, but I'm saying like if you want to save it before you delete it, you know, but delete that qmods folder and then you're going to head down here we're going to see qmod manager logs and json files we're going to get rid of these as well and then you can also go ahead and get rid of bep and x this bep and x folder up here because the qmod manager is in that folder as well so just hit delete all right so now that we've done that close that out we're going to head back to the gear icon on the right hand side and then we're going to head down to properties and then we're going to head to betas and then where it says legacy we're going to click on it and we're just going to select none and our game is going to update again back to the most recent version of subnautica and boom now we're back on 2.0 subnautica and keep in mind whenever you like switch between the two different versions of subnautica you can still like have the saves like it won't delete your saves unless you like manually do that yourself but i'm not going to show you how to like remod the entire game in 2.0 because I already have a video of me doing that. So yeah, yeah, just let me know some things I, you know, maybe things I did well, maybe things I didn't do so well, things that I can, I could improve on, you know, etc. But yeah, that's how you mod Legacy Subnautica. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.